Let's see how to install Docker on Windows 11. First, we start by opening the terminal, the Windows terminal. So right click here and here we can see terminal, but we're going to start the terminal as an administrator. Okay, this won't work. We need to open the terminal as an admin. And the first step is installing WSL2 because on Windows, Docker depends or relies on WSL2. So let's go ahead and install WSL2 and it can easily be done with the command WSL dash dash install. And it will take a few minutes. It's quite a long process. And now Ubuntu is installed on top of WSL2. Ubuntu is the default virtual machine or default virtual environment that is used by WSL. So it's installed by default when we install WSL. Great, so WSL is installed. It will take effect only after we restart the computer. So we will soon do that. But first, let's open our web browser and let's go to docs.docker.com. Here I'll choose get Docker. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see that we have Docker Desktop for Mac and Docker Desktop for Windows. And we also have Docker Desktop for Linux. But on this video, I'm going to focus on Docker Desktop for Windows. And I download the x86-64 version. And the installer is being downloaded. Okay, so we have the Docker installer, but before installing it, let's first restart the computer for the WSL installation to complete. Okay, we're back after the restart. And now if we open the Windows Start menu, we can see here WSL, and of course we have Ubuntu on top of WSL, and we can even start Ubuntu. But as you can see, when we try to start Ubuntu, we see this error. WSL register distribution failed with error, and we have some error number. So we need to install a Windows feature to allow WSL to work normally, and Docker on top of that. So to do that, we look for features and here's the option we're after, turn Windows features on or off. And we need to scroll all the way down and here we need to check this box, the one that says Windows subsystem for Linux. This is required for WSL to work normally. So, okay. And actually we should have done this before restarting, but never mind, I'll just restart again. Okay, so we restarted the computer again, and now we should be able to run Ubuntu normally. And Ubuntu is being installed. Okay, so Ubuntu was installed and it's needed for WSL to work and Docker on top of WSL. We don't really have to provide a name now, so I'll skip on that and we can close this window safely. Let's now go to our downloads folder. That's where we should have our Docker installer. And here it is. And let's run the Docker installer. You can add a shortcut to the desktop if you want to. And when we click on this button, it will log out of the user account we're currently using. So let's log back in. And you can see that Docker automatically starts. So let's accept the license agreement. I'll skip this welcome screen. And the Docker engine is starting. To make sure that everything works as expected and we can run containers, we can start the Windows terminal again. And if we now run docker dash dash version, we can see which version of Docker we're running. And if we want to try and run an example container, we can do something like docker run hello world. And this will run an example, simple example container. So first the image of the container is downloaded to this computer. And we can see that the container, the application within this small container successfully ran. And we can see the response from this container. And if we see hello from Docker, it means that Docker is up and running and everything is functioning as it's supposed to.